There's some stuff that I can't tell anyone at all that I can only tell Megan. And I feel like I'd just explode if I couldn't tell anyone oh my stuff. God. So she has some deep wow. secrets. No. Deep, deep feeling secrets. <laughs> If we had a chance to meet SB19, what would we do first? Mm -hmm. Fangirl. I broke my arm when I was little, so I can't bend it. <laughs> that freaks me out of oh, Like, it's like right next to me. K-pop, mm. K-pop concert, have you been to one? If so, what group? <laughs> they went to GOT7 and they didn't take me. I'm gonna be fair. Since this is a q and A, I'm gonna go ahead and finally reveal who my bias is in SB19. What's up guys? This is K-Popsis. Back at you with another video. I'm Megan. I'm Brianna. I'm Nana. And we are sisters. And cousin. Super into K-pop. This is going to be a different video for us, for sure. So we got this new Korean market here in our town, which we were pretty excited for. We went and visited it, found like a ton of stuff, and I was like, you know what, let's like try making a video while we try these. And so I was like, a lot of people have been demanding a Q&A, so here we are, Q&A time. So I do wanna say thank you to everybody that submitted questions. We are so excited to answer the questions that you have. Nana picked out the questions that she thought best suited us as people and also we haven't read them we don't know anything about them but she was like getting really excited for some of them like I want to know the answer too <laughs> so uh, yeah she I'm assuming picked some really good ones because she was working hard on it so thank you Nana mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so we got our snacks and we are ready to go. Let's start with a snack and then we'll go with some questions. Let's start with our drinks. Okay. Yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> that kind of hurt. Did it hurt? A little bit. Maybe I'm just weak. Did y'all shake? <laughs> Gosh, Nana. Oh my God. I had one job. <laughs> I shook them beforehand, so I think it's. I think <laughs> what it's <laughs> Cheers. Oh. Hmm. I taste kind of like orange. Yeah, that's what they usually taste okay. like. I think I'm the only one that's actually had one of these before, but I haven't had one of these. This is like a legitimate, like, from Korea. I don't know. I think the other brand that I get also is. I'll put the picture right here. I usually buy those at our supermarket, and they're bomb. It's like stronger than I'm used to, but it's good. I like that. I was most excited for this, and it did not let me go. Another one. <laughs> Do you want another one? Yes. Make sure to shake it first. Because that way you know how to shake it. Shake it. I think it's really good. I just, I was thinking more of like a milk taste, you know? But this is like kind of soury. Yeah. And so when I drink it, I was like, oh. Brianna is somewhat allergic to yogurt, so. So I don't know how this is gonna do. I hope this doesn't hurt your stomach. But I think, I don't know, I think you'll be okay. I think you're good you now. You didn't tell me to stop shaking. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were waiting for me. Stop. Yell at me again. All right, <laughs> let's go with some questions. All right, so I split it up into several categories. The first one's being questions about y'all. Oh, dear. Okay, then SB19 questions. <laughs> I'm sure there were plenty. <laughs> there was a lot, uh, <laughs> but that's okay. K-pop questions, Rihanna questions, and then Megan questions. Oh, questions. No, Nana questions? No, nobody wants to know. <laughs> No one asked me anything, it's fine. Um, okay, number one. What is y'all's favorite color? Mine's is blue, and this is from Isabel Aceto. Okay, so she said hers is blue? Yeah, she wanted y'all to know mine's is blue, but what is y'all's favorite color? Brianna can answer that easy for herself. Mine is green, I love green. It's great, but like, it has to be like a certain green, like sea green. You know, like like it's like green. blue and green. That's how I am. Like mine's is hunter green. In case you want to know, <laughs> that's a hard question for me to answer. I love colors. I think it just depends on my mood. I'd say my least favorite is probably like orange. I'm not a huge orange fan. Don't get defensive. I think gold is pretty good. Gold is. Pretty. I like rose gold. Oh yeah. Ready. Next question is, do y'all have any siblings? Also, what would 
be your wife without your sister. And this is from Elves. Yes, we do have a sibling, another sibling. It's us two, and then we have an older brother. So I'm the middle child. Brienne is the baby. And what would your life be without your sister? Well, honestly, like for me, I wasn't actually really expecting a sister. My parents said, y'all are gonna have another sibling. And I was like, what are you adopting? <laughs> like, it, she was a surprise for all of us, but my life would be super, super sad without her. So, Aww. yeah. <laughs> oh my God, soft hours. I'm gonna get emotional. Y'all are making me miss my sister. Oh, Aww. yeah, Nana has a sister. She's my best friend. Aww. <laughs> Aww, she's gonna watch this and be like. <laughs> She actually was in a video with us. We actually did a video with like the two sisters. So it was like me and Brianna and then Nana and her sister, which is also our cousin. I failed on the editing of it. Gosh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. But we'll try to get her on another video. For me, without Megan, I feel like I'd be very lonely because like, you know, I have like friends and stuff, but there's some stuff that like, I can't tell anyone at all that I can only tell Megan. And I feel like I'd just explode if I couldn't tell anyone oh my stuff, God. so... <laughs> she has some deep wow. secrets. No. <laughs> deep, deep feeling secrets. Stop! That was, that was me. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like I'd be very like lonely. Aww. And... <laughs> I love I you, love, sister! I love you, too. Oh my God, so I love hours. you, too, Nana. Oh, thanks! I love you, too, Nana. Thank you. Sometimes. <laughs> no, oh. I'm just kidding. Oh, just got... Did we cancel this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you, Nana. So 18 without S. What it? <laughs> okay, so you know 18. You know how they're like the fandom. I've gone over the fandom name with her, but I forgot to mention that there's no 18s because 18 is already considered plural. Mm -hmm. So okay. he was like correcting us, saying you say it without an S. Oh. That was the June. <laughs> Sense of humor. Thanks, Sajun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, he asked if you were born in another country, where would you want it to be and why? Mm. That's a great question. That's tough. I don't know. I have an answer. I you do? Yeah. Okay, I'll let you go first. Okay, maybe Thailand? <laughs> I don't know. That's probably just because I really want to visit there. <clears throat> But also the Philippines would be cool too. Hmm. I don't know, just wow. like, just an Asian country, honestly. I, th I agree. I, I just, agree. I would just really love to live there. Yeah. I agree. See, me personally, I think I'm so fascinated with Asian cultures because I feel like they have a lot to <coughs> offer. So I agree with you. Philippines would be like a place that I would have liked to be born in because from our experience with Filipino people that watch us, everybody seems to have so much character and great sense of humor and yeah, I, I dig it. So I relate on that. Another place I'd maybe say is Japan. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Japan. Japan, I think, would be super cool. <coughs> Japan just seems like a really fascinating place to me. Yeah. Should we try the ramen? Yeah. It looks like it's getting cold. Okay. Is it hot? Do you need me to hold mm -hmm. it? It's fine. I am really much <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. What? <laughs> that is really good. Is it? It's a little bit spicy, but I like it. See, and the kicker on this is that the package says mild. And the reason we knew it was going to be a little spicy is because Nana bought a pack of these like the other night and ate them for dinner and she was like they're kind of spicy and I was like really it says mild God, your chopsticks are slippery okay ah oh, this is hard it is wait oh those are so good these are gin's noodles Jin? Jin? Oh, like that video where he's like pretending to cry and he's like eating ramen. Oh, yeah. More questions? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Well, sorry. Okay, so um, some girl named Mariana, you know, wants to know, um, <clears throat> other than y'all two, who is the funniest, coolest, and prettiest member in y'all's family? Oh, okay then. <laughs> Oh my god. Just kidding, that's not the question. The real question is, why are y'all so fine? Just kidding. No, the actual, I'm sorry. Why are you so daddy? <laughs> the real question is, what is the first K-pop song y'all heard and who was the first K-pop idol y'all stand? This is from you? Yeah, I wanna know. Oh. Cause y'all know mine. K-pop song we heard and K-pop idol we stand. 
mm -hmm. consciously hearing K-pop, like knowing it's K-pop and hearing it. Or like just hearing Because it. I'm thinking Gangnam Style. That's the first K-pop oh. song I heard. Oh, really? No, I'm talking about like you know it's it's K-pop. Okay. Okay. That's different for us. Yeah, because Gangnam Style wasn't paying attention. I was just I like, even know there's this guy doing this dance and everybody else is doing it too. Yeah. The first song I heard, like consciously knowing this is K-pop and I'm listening to it because somebody's telling me to, which was our brother by the way, he showed me DNA first from BTS. <laughs> and the first idol, I honestly want to say it was Suga. Wow. I want to say it was because like in DNA he has that blue hair and I, I was like really attracted to that blue color in his hair but he was also really cute too. But Jin ended up being my bias and has stayed my bias for from BTS like to this day. The first one I heard was funny because Megan had showed my best friend K-pop and like she was really into it but I, I, I like I wasn't <laughs> and so like I just didn't really pay attention and so she was like you really need to listen to this song and so she showed me Blood Sweat and Tears by BTS and I, I like was watching it and I was listening to it I was like man I actually really do like this song and I saw this beautiful guy named Jimin. <laughs> and I was like, who is that? I need his name now. And yeah, that was the first guy I stand, so. <laughs> wow. You should know mine, you, you showed me. I did? Yeah, remember, in the car. Mic drop? No, not today. I showed you not today That was the first? first? Yeah, that was the first song I heard. What? Still my favorite song by BTS. And then, Jung I noticed Jungkook because he was in the middle one. Uh, it's just been love at first sight ever since. <laughs> uh, God, wow. What a good question. Um, That's a great question. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Sophia Bautista. Bautista. It's pretty, oh, it's a pretty name. Asked three facts we don't know about y'all. Oh. That's a hard question. That's rough. I can't answer this for y'all. Here's can't. facts. Three facts. Megan. <laughs> Oh no. Doesn't like seafood. Oh. <laughs> and I love seafood, so I don't like seafood. I can tolerate seafood. If somebody's like, let's go eat seafood, I'm like, okay. Y'all are probably gonna think I'm crazy for that one, but I don't know. Like, we live in a very dry area. There's no sea around us, so maybe, like, real seafood is much better than the seafood I've had here. Another fact. Brianna, <laughs> oh, my no. first night here scared me. <laughs> I was going to the bathroom and <laughs> she was sleeping and she had her door open and I literally almost screamed. <laughs> you sleep with your door open. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad thing? No, it's not a bad thing. It's just you scared me because <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't even doing anything but sleeping. <laughs> sleeping. And like, I'm scared. It was just dark and then you see the door open and it's just like. Like darkness in there. Do, yeah, I'm, I just, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> I guess it's a fact. I have a fun fact, actually. Okay. Well, from what she said, I sleep talk. You do? <laughs> yeah, she does. Oh, you, yeah, you kind of do. Yeah, yeah, I sleep talk. I don't know why. Um, For me, this might sound weird. I have an ice obsession. I chew on ice constantly, which I know is really bad for my teeth, and I'm sure my dentist would tell me to stop, but I'm addicted to chewing ice. I don't like carbonated drinks, like Cokes, Mountain Dew, Sprite, I don't like those. Another one, I'm double jointed in my fingers. I don't know if I should show it. I could just, I bend them really weird. Oh. <laughs> and oh God. Since I, I broke my arm when I was little, so I can bend it. <laughs> Up to someone and be like, What's up? And then you're like, <laughs> <laughs> no. <Hey. laughs> I felt really bad for her when she broke her arm. Oh, and me too. It made me so sad. I went and bought her a lot of toys because I felt really bad. I got off of work and then went and like bought all the toys that I knew she wanted at the time. <laughs> I remember hearing about that. Like, yeah, your mom called my mom. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure she was freaking out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mine, I'm, I'm trying to think of a third one, but I can think of a second one. Um, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> one of the things about me, for sure, I am a germaphobe. Yeah, she is. 
I have to. like constantly have to be washing my hands or using hand sanitizer. It's not just the washing hands thing either. It's just, it's a lot of stuff. I don't like door handles. I don't like, especially bathroom door handles. I just don't like, I don't like public bathrooms. I, oh God, I'm, I'm like freaking myself out thinking about this. I guess my last one that I would say is whenever I was in college, I took up four instruments including voice so like I was a voice major but I also played keyboard I played the drums I love playing drums if I couldn't sing I would be a drummer I love drumming <laughs> And then my other instrument was guitar. I learned guitar on my own. I took one class for it, but my teacher, it was like a private lesson and he was just so easygoing that I just never really practiced. So I learned one chord from his lesson and he gave me an A. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that. Oh, she's so talented. Oh my god. I just love music. Okay, <laughs> let's calm down. Okay, the next is SB19 questions. Oh. Boom! Okay, so I read these. They translate to smoky barbecue. I'm excited for this. So cool. I love so Cheetos. Cool. I like the bag. I mean, it looks like a regular oh, yeah, I know. Cheeto bag. Like, uh, Why is it so hard to open? I wonder if these are like those honey butter chips. Wow. Look at the back. <gasps> oh! oh! <laughs> That's so cool! Right, 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 when, right, right when we're getting the SB19, there's corn. <laughs> oh, I take it that's a sign you should open this. Give me that. Maybe I have it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like tear it. Got it. Oh, look at you. Can I try one first? Oh, it smells good. Like when you. Whoa! They're like wider. Like, they're not as toxic looking as our- I swear the Cheetos we have are like the same color as this bag. <laughs> I don't know how to explain them, just try them. for What? Oh wow. That is pretty really good. It tastes like corn. They have like so much flavor in it, like. It's the sweetness. I like it. Oh, these are bomb. I like it. I like it better than ours. I taste the Over smoky here. taste. Because you know how it's like smoky barbecue, but it's really sweet. Yeah. It's shocking to me how sweet they are. They had some spicy ones too, but we're pansies. <laughs> Obviously, with our mild noodles. Number one for the SB19 questions. Also, y'all were really sweet. So, like, all all the people that asked y'all pretty much were sweet, but I just, all of the people that were asking questions about SB19 just were really sweet. <laughs> we're saying, like, we love you and, like, appreciate you and, like, thank you. And I was just like, guys, love you too. <laughs> I love you too. Y'all are so sweet. <laughs> okay, so if you have a chance to meet SB19, what will you do first? And she also loves you so much. She said that in the. We love you love too. You too. <laughs> Um, if we had a chance to meet SB19, what would we do first? Mm -hmm. Fangirl. No, I'm just kidding. I would try my hardest not to fangirl. I would just stand frozen, <laughs> not do anything. <laughs> she would. So say we were to ever meet SB19, I know for a fact I'd be the only one talking. Kind of like in our videos sometimes. <laughs> yeah, there's, you know how sometimes there's like, I just don't talk, Megan does all the talking. That's what I would do, but I'd look nervous. Yeah, so she'd have this look in her face, almost like she's zoned out. But yeah. she's just concentrating so hard on her thoughts of like, don't do something embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Don't fangirl. Yeah. Like, or like, if I on. if they do talk to me, what do I do? You know? <laughs> like, do I say something back or like... <laughs> so, next one by Alex. What is y'all's favorite SB19 song and can you sing it please? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's an easy one for me. It's go up. I think we have. For, I think for both too. of us, it's go up. They did say, say it though, they said sing it. I sang this on live, I was really uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, we gonna go up. <clears throat> That's all as far as I'm going. <laughs> I'm at, I get really self conscious singing it without. <laughs> <laughs> you would sing Justin's part. We can sing like pretty much almost all the song, right? But it's like, we don't think our Filipino is correct. No, <laughs> not at all. It feels really uncomfortable. We sang part of it. I hope that counts. 
But yeah, Go Up. Go Up was like our original song with them, so we just love it. It started a lot for us. I like their other one. Oh. Mmm. Oh. All of Oh, I do love you. Oh, I Julian wants to know, when will you guys visit our boys in the Philippines? Hmm. So we really haven't talked about this too much, like, publicly, but I guess we could say it here. Because it's really no secret, we just haven't really talked about it on any social media or in our videos. We are shooting for next year. We're having to save money up until then because, yeah, they have free concerts right now and, you know, that's cool. We would get a free concert, but our plane tickets would be, like, a thousand dollars. Our plane tickets are really <laughs> expensive. Yeah. That's what we're most worried about. Yeah, because we don't live in an area with like a big airport. We're trying for next year. We're, we're trying our best. So hopefully next year we will be able to. It'll be like kind of summertime because Brianna has to get up. You want to come? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if you're asking, you know, <laughs> Kristen Salazar asked if you had a chance to have a date with one of the members <laughs> of from SB19, who and where would you go? <laughs> I already know mine. Really? I think we all know yours. I know. <laughs> yeah, go Brianna, you go first. I would like to have a date with Justin. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> yep. And I really would like to like go eat ramen, you know, at like a nice place maybe. You and your ramen. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like ramen. But yeah, I feel like it'd be cool if like me and him got to go eat ramen together on a date. Uh, maybe, maybe we can go to like an arcade or something. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. okay. I feel like this question is trying to get an answer out of me. She'd like to go on a date with all of them. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, OT5, I'll just take them all. We'll go. We'll have some ramen. We'll go to an arcade. Yeah, like Brianna's. Yeah, excuse me. It's my idea. <laughs> no, honestly, okay, I'm gonna be fair and I'm gonna pick somebody. But this does not mean I am this person biased. So, calm down. I would, oh, this is actually tough. There's like, ah, I don't know. Okay, now I'm like second guessing myself. No, I'm gonna go with my first instinct. Out of all of them, I feel like the person I'd go on a date with would be Stell. <gasps> I'm not Stell bias. <laughs> I'm all of them bias, but I don't know. I feel like I'd be really comfortable with Stell, and he's really sweet. I feel like he would like he'd be somebody good to go on a date with. So ramen. Thank you and your ramen. Probably getting cold now. You want some, Justin? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Ew, cold. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh wait, I didn't answer where we would go. I don't know where we'd go. Where should I go? Mmm. 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 <laughs> Go to like a- Oh, song. karaoke! <laughs> That's what I was gonna say! Yes! Oh my god! I would so go on a date with Stell so we can go sing karaoke. It'd would, be the funnest thing in the world. You and Stell can harmonize. A ton of duets. <laughs> It'd be amazing. We'd it's sing- Beautiful. Total Eclipse of the Heart. <laughs> <laughs> Brianna plays I bass play on bass those. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Karaoke, for sure. That'd be amazing. Fran asked, what if your mom told you you have a big brother in the Philippines, so another big brother, and you find out it's one of the members of S. <laughs> oh my god! SB19. How would you react and like who would you want it to be? That'd be awkward. Okay. I think I know. It doesn't say who it would I know be. who I would pick to be like a brother. I added that in. What? I want to know who, but it just says what, what would you react. I added like who would you pick, which member. Oh. I still want to answer that though. First, I'd be really shocked if that happened. I'd be like, why didn't you tell me this? And I'd want it to be Sejun. Because I think Sejun is like really cool, you know? And that'd be cool if he's my brother. That sounds weird, but like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <gasps> you gotta think little brother. Yeah, I'm thinking little brother. And it would be Justin. Justin's cute. I, Justin I like my see him as like, like little brother. He's, he's just cute. I'm just your brother. <laughs> that would brother. be awkward. <laughs> so that also means that which members y'all picked, that if they have siblings in real life, they would also be. You'd be related to Yanni? Yanni would be my brother? <laughs> uh. I'd be related to Alex. That'd be awkward. I find Yanni really cute. 
can see that. I feel like I might say this name wrong, so I apologize. But Adobon wants to know if given the chance to ask all members of SB19 a question, what would you ask? Like mm. all combined or like no separate? individual? Oh god. We should just speed through it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. In order? Mm -hmm. yeah. Age order? Okay, so Josh, I'd say, what's your favorite song to play on DDR? So June, I would say, I've asked to June this and I really want to know the answer. I'd ask him what is his favorite song from NF. Mm, that's mine. <laughs> Stell, I would ask him, can I sing with you? Because I really want to sing with Stell. Ken, I would ask him, let me raid your playlist, please. And Justin, I would ask, do you want to have ramen with my sister? <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Josh, I would ask what his favorite video game is, and then what, like, whatever it is, if you want to play together, you know? <laughs> um, so June, I would ask the same question, like, what's your favorite NF song is? I really want to know. Stell, I would ask, how are you so good at singing? <laughs> and Ken, I would ask him what his favorite anime is. Mmm! That's such a good question! <laughs> yeah. Justin. I don't know what I'd ask Justin either. It'd um, just be silence. She wouldn't be able to ask him anything. She'd be too nervous. <laughs> I guess I'll ask him what his favorite food is. Are we on K-pop now? Okay, let's open a snack. Okay. Oh, I've been waiting for this. If y'all watch any other dramas, than, other than like K-dramas or whatever else you might watch, uh, I saw this on a C-drama. I forgot the name, but I'll put it down here. I remember that show and it was super cute. But the girl in there constantly ate these. Actually, a lot of the people in there constantly ate these. And so I've always wanted to try them because when I saw what they were, I was like, that looks interesting. And then I saw that they're like Korean chips. But she would open them like this where she tears it. I don't know if that's normal over there, but here, it's not normal. It smells like just regular potato chips. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> All right, one, two, three. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> you look like you don't like it. I, I just don't know, I don't know how to feel about it. It's like first it's honey, and then it goes to butter, and then it goes to a regular potato chip. I tasted like all three at the same time. Yeah, me too. And one it just threw me off. I like it. <clears throat> I'm gonna eat all these like the two. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like it. They're good. It's interesting. It's just so different. Like, their chips are so sweet compared to ours. Ours are super salty compared to this. I like oh, it. I smell it now. I like it. Smell it. <laughs> sweet people. And we have salty people here. <laughs> I'm gonna eat all these, please. They're bomb. They're pretty good. I regret nothing with wanting to get these. This was like originally the reason I wanted to go into that Korean store in the first place was because I wanted to find these. Okay, Bill Colosa wants to know what year y'all got hooked into K-pop. 2018. Mm -hmm. It was the year we started our channel. I wouldn't say it was hooked right away, but BTS songs kept popping up in my head after my brother showed me. Because he showed me DNA, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, and Mic Drop. And I kept thinking about the songs. And then I think I did like some kind of Zumba class where they did Mic Drop. And I was like, hey, this is that song. And I was into it. I put like a little star and I said fave question because I really like this question. So, good job, Catherine Wynn. Uh, she said- Catherine! We know Catherine. She's been following our channel for forever. I'm excited. You ask, you ask good questions. Okay. <laughs> if you could sing live with any group you reacted to, oh. who and what song? Oh! Oh, that is a good question. I know. I got mine too. I, I gotta answer this one. Oh, God. Y'all go first. So, mine isn't a group, but I would love to sing Party with Bam Bam. Oh! oh. <laughs> I love that song, and I love him. <laughs> well, if we're doing people, then I would pick Jackson, Bullets in the Heart, probably. But group, I would say God Seven Fly. Oh! I, oh my God! I just say God Seven Look. I'm gonna go girl group on this one because there's one song that I always love singing, and I love all the harmony parts in it. But there was one song that specifically came into mind, and this might be because Catherine's asking it, and Catherine is like a Dreamcatcher fan. So I thought Dreamcatcher. So I'm thinking Dreamcatcher, and it would be Wonderland. Most of y'all, or all of y'all, know that Wonderland is like 
my song. I love that song. I was learning it at one point to try to cover it and I still kind of know it, but I'm nervous, guys. Korean is like this whole other monster of a language to me and it makes me nervous. I'm still trying to work up the courage to it, but yeah, I would love to sing Wonderland with Dreamcatcher. That would be insanely cool. I would love to sing with Jackson too, though. If I were talking solo, I don't know which one I would sing. Probably Oxygen. I like harmonizing with Oxygen. I was gonna pick that one, but it's hard. Uh, QK covers wants to know, K-pop, mm, K-pop concert, have you been to one? If so, what group? <laughs> they went to GOT7 and they didn't take me. No. <laughs> uh, we Before my birthday. Tried. No, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, don't even. I don't feel bad about you this one bit. You didn't want to go. I wasn't as into them. That's not I'm our like, fault. I'm gonna go next time though. Not my fault. Oh yeah, we're going. Yeah. 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 Okay, our first K-pop concert was BTS. It was nuts. If you have not seen our video on it, it's extensive and it's old, so I'm sorry. Please forgive how old that video is. Yeah. But it's one of our older videos. It was an insane experience. That video is as long as it is because so much went on at that concert. But we were right in front. Every single member looked into our cameras. <laughs> Jimin multiple mm. times? That man needs to calm down. And then our other one was GOT7. We went to see GOT7 last year, and oh my god. We haven't made a video on it yet, but we need to. I don't even know if we can at this point. We could probably try it's to compile. It's been a while. It's almost been a year. It's, yeah. Yeah. We still have all our videos from it and everything. We kind of vlogged that day. Somewhat. Bam Bam. Known as Priyan. Okay. Vivian Scarlet SP so thanked y'all for letting them have the opportunity to ask questions. Aww. She said she adores you, Megan. Aww. <laughs> um, and she said, um, if you have one day to switch lives, both of y'all, what would be the first thing y'all do? I'd go on a shopping spree because I'd have money. <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> then I'm gonna go back to my life and be like, why am I broke? Where's my money? <laughs> It'd be cool to like work at her job. Oh yeah. I'd have to teach nice. like kids or like, adults. Well, kids and adults. Yeah, all ages. Singing and singing and playing, and playing keyboard. keyboard. Yeah, so yeah, see how that goes. I'd go and take her tests and see how I do because it's been a while since I had to take those tests and I would be curious how I would do. I'm sorry if you fail. <laughs> you're like, I'm sorry if you're broke. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good question. So now, Brianna questions. Mm. Oh god. Okay, wait, first. Oh yeah, that. Oh jeez. So, I got this. This was mostly a, a me pick, because I love mm. all things coconut, and these are butter coconuts. Mm. Mm. I love coconut, and I love butter, so. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, they look like biscuits. You would eat this with your, oh, your tea. They're like butter. No, like I, I feel you. Like that sounds like stating Shiny. the obvious, but. Are you ready? Yeah. Ooh, they smell coconutty. Mm. Cheers. Smells like my shampoo. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Good. Mm. Oh my god. I love coconut things. Great right, cookies. I mean, this no. is amazing. This is really good. Go get some of these if you haven't tried these. Butter coconut cookies. Mm hmm. The coconut is like so there, but the butter is also super there too. Mm -hmm. I want another one. That's good. You, you, you want another one? Sure. I'm gonna eat all This would be so good to have with one of these. You ate them. You drank them all. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I love it. I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Brianna, question. Mm -hmm. Sam Sudin, sorry if I said your name wrong, <laughs> wants to know who is more handsome, Justin, Jimin, or Bam Bam? Oh! <laughs> Why did you do that to me? I added Bam Bam. <laughs> what? You added Bam Bam? Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry if y'all saw my food. <laughs> the bit I added Bam Bam part made me laugh really hard. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Okay. <clears throat> Good luck. Well, you added Bam Bam. <laughs> okay, if it was step three, I would say Bam Bam, because he's just my ideal type look-wise, you know? And personality-wise, he's just my ideal type, but. I didn't think you were gonna answer yeah, this. Yeah, either. But, but, there's a but here, okay? If it was just Jimin and Justin, I would probably say Justin. <laughs> 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 Gotta hurt. 
<laughs> because, okay, Jimin was like, you know, my first love, but... That's exactly why I'm making this face right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm so shocked. Uh, Y'all have no idea how obsessed Brianna was with Jimin back in the day. It's just, I don't know, Justin's good looking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, Justin's really cute. I think I feel okay. you. Mm -hmm. I'm just shocked because I'm like, wow. Like, I, I just, you have Jimin pictures and posters yeah. all over your, you I, even have a Jimin pillow. <laughs> I think the reason why I'm saying this is because I choose personality over looks. Mm. And so I feel like personality is what ma it's making me like decide. Aww. So like, of course, like I love Bam Bam because he's like weird and stuff. But <laughs> I don't know. I really like Justin. Of course, friend. That's a good answer. Thank you. Another one for Brianna. Lonnie Tobias, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced. Said, what if Justin was in another group? Who would be your bias in SB19 then? I guess they said, let's just say your bias record. So, trying Ooh, to find out two questions. Even I want to know this answer. I feel like I know it, but I want to hear it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, same. She's like, first, I'd be really sad. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just be devastated, but you know. I would say Josh, because he's really good looking. Wow. He's got great looks. <laughs> <laughs> and I was not expecting that answer. <laughs> I mean, I love video games, so. That's true, actually. That's very, I really okay, like I see it now. Yeah, so that's probably why he'd be my next bias. Wow. I actually thought you were gonna say him. I just. I thought you'd say Sejun. I, I was thinking Sejun too. I don't know. I just think Sejun is cool. But like, mine would probably be Josh, actually. I'm learning so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Megan questions. Oh, the green. Oh, Megan questions, but first. I don't know if y'all have seen, but we do have a Korea box unboxing. They sent us one for free just to try it out. And if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. We try some other Korean snacks in there too. I'm pretty sure they have these candies. Uh, we hadn't, we still haven't eaten it yet. It's still sitting in the box. But I was like, hey, they have a bag of them here, so let's try it. Brianna's not a huge fan of grape flavored things, but she's gonna troop her on. I like grape drinks. I was also thinking about this. So like currently we're watching, like me and Nana actually are watching He is Psychometric. If you've seen it, then you know the candies that Jin Young like often has and the whole thing with like the girl and stuff. We were looking for those candies, but this was like the closest we got to it. So. I really wanna know what y'all think about it, the show. Yeah. Without giving spoilers. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Ooh. It tastes like a real grape. Wow, it does. Okay, this one's actually good. Like, it tastes really good. It reminds me of Green Apple Jolly Ranchers. Yeah, but like, kind of grape flavored. It like, literally tastes like a green grape. This is good. Oh my god. I like it. I'm mind blown right now. Okay, last set of questions. Okay, okay Megan. It's so hard to talk with this. Um, <laughs> Janine? Janine? Janine. Janine? Embarrassing? <laughs> Janine. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Janine. Uh, <laughs> Janine wants to know, who do you think is the best vocalist amongst K-pop male and female? Oh my god. And who is your favorite? Oh no. Oh, I should have known somebody was gonna ask so me this. Loud. This is a tough question. I don't know if I could actually say who is my favorite male vocalist in K-pop, like 100%, but I will say who came to mind first whenever I heard the question, and that's Chen from EXO. The reason I thought of him first is because on, I don't know how many of you might know what Amino Apps is, but I was making videos on there for a short while. We were like kind of teamed up with them and doing some like video stuff. I made a video for Chen's birthday and it was like my favorite vocal moments of Chen live. I just remember going back to that time and like looking through all of his vocals. That's really hard to say though because like of course uh, I'm a huge fan of Young Jay from GOT7 and that's not just me being GOT7 biased. Young Jay is just an insanely, insanely amazing singer. SM, I don't know where they get their vocalists from but they got a vocalist tree somewhere that they're picking these people from and 
Dang, girl group. That's a rough one because I feel like, once again, there's a lot of discovery I still have yet to do with girl groups. But of course, I'm just gonna go, once again, with the person that comes to mind right away, and that's Shion from Dreamcatcher. I have mentioned over and over again how much I adore her vocals on, like, a professional level, but also in, like, a fangirling sense because she does things vocally that I just can't relate to. Vocally, we're not the same. I admire that, and I, I just love hearing her sing. I would say Shion for sure is up there. That was a good question. <laughs> Last question. Angel wants to know who is your SB19 bias? And I will not take OT5 oh. in quotation. <laughs> I won't take OT5 either. That's so mean that I can't say OT5. I'm gonna be fair. Since this is a QA, I'm gonna go ahead and finally. Don't start with me. <laughs> Reveal who my bias is in SB19. <laughs> So, my SB19 bias is...